What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare and today we did receive update 1.23. I'm going to link these patch notes down in the description as always in case you guys want to read over all the details. I'm going to go over the big stuff, uh, a lot of the gun changes, a lot of the small bug fixes that you know a lot of us have been asking for. But like I said, I'm going to link this all down in the description if you guys want to read over every single thing. Um, first of all, the update is around 22 to 32 gigs, depending on your platform that you play on, with an additional 3.5 gig data pack on console. They said the overall footprint of the update will be reduced once the file is completely downloaded, so it should not be adding as much as shown in the download to your game when it's when it is completed. Now, some of the new things they did add was 200 player war zone. Uh, supply run contracts, which is a contract when activated, gives you a area to go to to a certain buy station. You do have a time limit to reach that, but if you do reach it in the time limit, everything at that buy station will be discounted. Also, spotter scopes have been added. This will be a reusable scope without the glint. This will allow you to mark enemies around the map without being detected. They said this is the perfect way to go into an area without being detected and also kind of give a heads up of what's going on in that area. Um, some other things that were added into the base game were Ground War, Blueprint, Gunfight, Team Defender, Shoot the Ship 24-7, which I know a lot of people have been asking for, uh, Gunfight Tournaments, and Realism Mosh Pit is now in the Quick Play filter. When it comes to Warzone, you still have the option to play BR Trios, Duos, Solos, Plunder, Blood Money, plus BR Quads 200. Now when it comes to general fixes, there was an issue where players could modify weapons with attachments from other weapons while using a mouse. That has been fixed. Some of the daily challenge and camo issues have also been fixed. Some of the completionist camo issues have also been fixed as well. Uh, the win-loss now tracks as intended per mode for multiplayer and Warzone. Uh, fixed for uh, the section of hard hat that had invisible collision walls. That has also been looked at. And several of the ground war maps where people could get under the map, could glitch inside the map, has also been worked on with this update. It said long shots will now displace the distance in the point feed. Also, there was a bug within multiplayer. If you were behind a damaged deployable cover and someone threw a Molotov cocktail at you, the fire would disappear, but you would still take damage from that fire. That visual issue has also been fixed. Uh, recon drones can now be destroyed with throwing knives, and hip fire reticles are now visible in spectate and in the kill cam. For Warzone, they fixed an exploit for Boneyard. The gas mask now cracks when you're taking damage near or in the circle. A team wipe message will now appear in the kill feed for your whole squad to see. Also, an issue where people were going into the gulag. Once they won, they were coming back out and they were spawning under the map. That has also been fixed. And the biggest thing, in my opinion, for the Warzone fixes was, uh, was one of the issues where the final circle would be too close over areas that players could not access such as the middle of stadium. That has been an issue since Warzone has come out. I'm glad they have finally fixed that. Also, it says the after action report will now show cash, uh, cash earned and placement. And three precision airstrikes can be called in at once, but they do have a distance restriction on them. When it comes to weapons, uh, stopping power is now applied to headshots. Uh, starting ammo and max ammo adjustments for several weapons, the M4, the uh, 458 SOCOM, the CR-56, the SKS-10, the Striker-45, the SCAR, and the Odin have all, all had max ammo and ammo increase adjustments. Now, when it comes to the AX-50 Sniper, they increase the damage range. The HDR Sniper guaranteed one, one hit to lower torso at any range. The CAR-98 increased ADS speed, small decrease to hip fire spread, and increase to damage range. When it comes to the MK2 Carbine, uh, faster movement speed and a increase to damage range. The Dragonov increased ADS speed and a two hit kill minimum. The gun recoil returns to center more often and a little bit quicker and a faster rate of fire. Now when it comes to the foul, they added a close range damage self with one hit headshot potential. The AK-47, they increased the ADS speed and the CR-56 decreased the damage range. Uh, the MP5 received a nerf, decreased damage range, decreased 10 millimeter damage range, reduced long range damage to the 10 millimeter ammo, and a slight recoil increase to 10, mil, 10 millimeter ammo as well. Uh, when it comes to the Growl 5.56, which a lot of people were calling for for changes, 
damage range reduction, slight increase to hip fire recoil, and reduce the recoil compensation and decrease the range of the Tempest 26.4 Archangel and the FSS 20.8 Nexus barrels. So hopefully that growl will have some changes. Once we get in the game, we'll be able to kind of see those for ourselves, and it maybe won't be as used as much. I know a lot of people are talking about the MP5 as well. Also, when it comes to shotgun slugs, they uh, increase the projectile velocity, reduce the ADS spread, add a dynamic hip spread, increase the damage ranges, and increase the lower torso damage. The no stock attachment got increased weapon recoil and increased ADS aiming steadiness. Now, there were also some things added in and changed bugs and improvements to spec ops and spec ops survival of course like i said guys if you want to read over all of this stuff it will be linked down in the description but i want to give you guys an overview of all the weapon changes and of course the new modes being added in today with this update leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live if you have a chance share the video please do it does help out the channel a lot and be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. All their information is linked down in the description. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.